This video is brought to you by the generous donations from viewers like you. Beltane, or Beltane, is one of the eight annual sabbats or festivals observed as part of the Wheel of the Year. It is the last of the three spring fertility festivals. It is celebrated at the approximate midway point between the vernal equinox and the summer solstice. It traditionally marks the arrival of summer. Beltane is the counterpart to Samhain which divides the year into two primary seasons, the winter, dark feminine receptive, and the summer, light, masculine, and projective. Beltane translated means fire of bell, or bright fire, or bale fire. Beltane, like Samhain, is when time and space are temporarily suspended. The veil between here and there is the thinnest, allowing those who are transitioned to their next life experience to communicate with those who are still on this physical plane. It is a time for the Fae to awaken from their winter slumber and tempt those in this world to join them in fairyland. Legend tells of people sitting beneath a tree on Beltane night hearing the sounds of horses' bells. This is the Queen of the Fae, riding on her white horse, tempting to entice people to join her. Hide your face, she will pass. Dare to gaze upon her, and she might just choose you. On Beltane Eve, two large fires, or bell fires, are built from the nine sacred woods. The bell fire is a sacred invocation to Bell, the sun god, and consort to mother goddess. These fires, when lit, were healing and purifying. The herds of the tribe would be driven between the two bonfires per, for purifying, protection, fertility, and to bring luck. The ashes of these fires were smudged on everyone's face and scattered over the fields. Home fires would be extinguished and then relit with fresh fire from the bell fires. Young men and women would wander into the woods before day daybreak of Beltane morning with garlands of flowers and or branches of trees. They would later return rumpled from their intimate encounters. Sexuality and fertility were not judged as sinful, but instead were seen as joyous expressions of humanity. The Maypole is an important symbol of Beltanane festivals, as it encourages the fertility of the land. It is a tall pole decorated with long, brightly colored ribbons, leaves, flowers, and a wreath on top. Young women and men each hold the end of a ribbon and dance revolving around the base of the pole, braiding the ribbons as they go. As the dancers revolve around the pole, the ribbons will weave, creating a pattern. The dancing acts as a conduit of energy, creating a gateway connecting the three realms. The energy raised during this dance is returned into the earth, awakening mother's womb. It is said that the pattern made by the ribbons indicate the abundance of the coming harvest year. In some places, a murmur a dramatic performer, called Jack in the Green, would wear a costume made of green leaves as he dances around the maypole. The crowning of Queen and King of May is also a tradition during Beltane. The Queen is chosen at the start of the festival, which is usually after sundown on the eve before Beltane Day. The King and Queen would reign from that Eve until sunset on Beltane Day. Their duties would include announcing the Beltane Games and awarding prizes to the victors. The Queen and King represent the spiritual hand fasting of the Goddess and her consort, the Divine Feminine with the Divine Masculine bringing forth consciousness. On the physical level, they mark the union of the Earth and Sun 
which brings about the fruitfulness of the season. Beltane festivals may also include maypole dancing, leaping over bonfires, athletic tournaments, the gathering of flowers, weaving floral wreaths and garlands, baking colorful fruit and spiced breads, music, feasting, and drinking mead. O oh, gracious goddess of abundance and fertility, I joyously celebrate the sacred union which brings forth the bounty of the land. May your union inspire the spark of creativity with me. Grant me strength and wisdom as the wheel continues to turn. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to share it with others on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This way you won't miss any of my newly uploaded videos. And be sure you've connected with me on Facebook, either through my Cricket Song fan page, Lunar Wisdom business page, or by joining the Sacred Circle.